It's the rock man back in the pouring rain with week one, day two of this bench press program. You may be saying to yourself, it's been like two fucking weeks, dude. <laughs> yeah, that is correct. I crushed the first day. And the next day I had a pain in my bicep that by the end of the day had turned into stiffness in my left shoulder. And it's kind of settled in my left pec. Now, I'm not sure if it's just a nerve thing, if there's bicep tendon and front delt involved. I'm thinking that may be the case, but it's really difficult to say because I've never <laughs> really got back the sensation in anything in that shoulder complex. Even though I have found ways to control it uh, after my injury, it has never been the same. Like I don't have most of my fingers or the top of my hand or uh, a couple spots in my forearm I can't feel. So you know how it is. I'm trying to, trying to figure it out. So the first week I just did machine work that didn't seem to aggravate it uh, because I can tell when it's starting to get stiff and stuff, even though I may not be able to feel everything that's going on there. Um, and then this week I did that machine work still to get the blood flow going, promote healing, and then I did bench press for the last seven days straight. Uh, whether it's 60 kilograms for three sets of 10, and that ain't shit. You know, it's not like I'm going crazy with it. Um, or every other day I was going a little bit heavier and hitting 100 to 110 was my heaviest one for three sets of five. Uh, but yesterday I did 100 kilos for three sets of five, and it felt amazing. I really wish that I would have had the time to hit this workout yesterday, but I pushed it off to today and I was not feeling the same uh, amazing activation. So I really had to focus on making everything happen like it's supposed to happen. And I still, I lost two sets to stupid camera bullshit. And then I didn't do my eighth set because the little woman was being very patient waiting an extra 45 minutes for me to just do this impromptu workout. And then we had to go get sushi. She got herself shell crab. I got my fried Superman. I love the fried sushi. And I even got some raw shit this time because uh, I was pretty fucking hungry. And then when we got back, I did, uh, well, I watched a little bit of TV. And then I went downstairs and finished the workout. I started with the mace warm-ups outside in the front yard. And I moved on to the rows. So I'm pretty fucking happy with how these grooved considering I just injured myself two, well, it's not quite two weeks ago, uh, 13 days ago. And then I moved on to the Rose. West Side Boy and Darkness Trophies are having kind of a contest with these, 225. I kept them as strict as possible. I got or I use the straight bar instead of the buffalo bar I've been using. I really should have dropped these on the ground just and let them smash the concrete, but I have a hard time doing that, I guess, and I controlled them on the touch. I did use my Olympic lifting straps, the ones that are real easy to ditch, just because I didn't want to piss off my uh, elbow too much with all the bench pressing and then this too. I did two more sets of 12 with this weight and then a bunch of upright row shit too. And I had to go ahead and go for 16 because Westside did 15 uh, with his set. Pretty sure I could do 20, but it just depends how loose I want to get with it, you know. Um, I try to keep these real strict. So This next part is for big trips. This is what your bulldog grip is supposed to look like on the bench press. Big dog, figure it out. That was the grip I used for all these close grip sets in this workout. All things considered, I'm really happy with this workout. I had a really ugly rep on the first rep of one of the sets that I lost that I wish that I had. But overall, I was able to keep my setup really tight for the whole workout. I don't have any pain yet. Fingers crossed. <laughs> um... And I'm going to try to continue to work with more bench press. If I have to hit my hypertrophy on the machines, I'll do it on the machines. I just don't give a fuck, you know. And I do record all of my workouts. I just don't upload them all to public because, ah, shit gets boring for you guys, I'm sure. Especially when I'm chasing these 
higher rep crap on machines. Nobody gives a fuck about that stuff. So keep training strong. Thanks for watching.